Just let the mayor speak. We're all gonna die. That's right. That's what you believe, isn't it? Everyone's fighting to to put down roots. Everyone's fighting for stability, for survival. The aliens can't go home. Their planet's gone. So why not just pack up all your belongings and take a chance in the Badlands? They're stuck here. And as humans, we're stuck here too. We're stuck with them on our planet. Our planet's been destroyed. It's been terraformed. It's not the Earth that we knew. And you really get a sense of how unstable the world of defiance is. Madam Mayor? We're not that formal around here. Please call me Amanda. She was the assistant to the much beloved mayor, Mayor Nikki. Nikki was a mentor to Amanda, and she had to step down due to health reasons, and she gave the reins over to Amanda, and it was kind of a surprise to a lot of people, not just Amanda. So my law keepers told me that they found you and the Arathian girl outside the stasis net nearly dead. Is she some sort of bounty? But Amanda really represents the voice of defiance. I mean, she really is what defiance stands for. She believes that aliens and humans can live peacefully together, that they have to in order to survive this new world that's been created, this new earth that's been created, the only way they're going to survive is if they work together and, and, and put aside their differences and come together and work together and learn how to live amongst each other. We're just two people passing through. And there's a lot of factions against her that don't believe that. She's my daughter. Your daughter. At first, she's a little skeptical Jesus. of Nolan. She needs a new lawkeeper, and so she entrusts him with the job. And she knows he's a bit of a wild card. I think she senses a similar spirit uh, in him that she has, which is, at the end of the day, he's going to do what's right. Yeah, no, they definitely have that Han Solo, Princess Leia, like, back and forth with each other. In fact, that's how they described it to us. <laughs> um, so it was intentional. Um, you know, there's that obvious attraction in... And I think the audience is going to want them to be together, but it's not going to be that easy. She seems pure blood. War orphan. Found her abandoned in what used to be Denver. She was in a bad situation. I rescued her and raised her. She's a good girl. <laughs> That's why she nearly cut my doctor's throat? Like I said, she's a good girl.